For the second time this year, the U.S. Supreme Court has announced it will revisit the decades-long debate over affirmative action, this time focusing on a Michigan law that bans the consideration of race and gender in college admissions. The case comes 10 years after the court issued its landmark ruling upholding the use of race in admissions decisions at the University of Michigan. Three years later, voters in the state approved an affirmative action ban known as Proposal 2. But last November, a federal appeals court threw it out on the grounds that it imposed an unnecessary burden on minority students at the state's 15 public universities. The state's Republican Attorney General Bill Shewitt filed the appeal on that ruling, later writing entrance to our great colleges and universities must be based upon merit. And I remain optimistic moving forward in our fight for equality, fairness and rule of law at our nation's highest court. The lead attorney for the coalition to defend affirmative action, George Washington, and yes, that's his real name, hopes the Supreme Court will uphold the decision of the lower court, telling Ann Arbor.com these laws have driven down black and Latino enrollment. It damages the minority. It's a disaster. We want them to reverse the law. According to the American Civil Liberties Union, the number of black students at the University of Michigan has dropped nearly 15 percent since the affirmative action ban took effect in 2006. The effectiveness of affirmative action laws at countering discrimination in education have sparked heated debate since the courts first ruled in their favor more than 30 years ago. The issue before the Supreme Court now is whether race-sensitive admissions policies should be phased out as diversity goals are achieved. The Michigan announcement came as a bit of a surprise, as the justices are already preparing to rule on whether the University of Texas violated the equal protection of its students when taking into account race to fill the remaining slots in its freshman classes. The Supreme Court could hand down its decision in that case any day. Justice Elena Kagan is recusing herself from the Michigan case, leaving only three liberals on the bench and a likely win for affirmative action opponents. But should Justice Anthony Kennedy, often the swing vote, join the liberals in a 4-4 tie, the lower court's ruling would stand. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, a broader view.